Hi, hello everyone. Now I will show you how to merge Scopus ID. This is for those who have more than one Scopus ID. So the first step, just go to library website and click on off campus login via open items. So when you click on this, you will be given this list of resources and scroll down to find Scopus. Okay, when you get Scopus uh, website, please log in using your USM email address and you will be given this page. Okay, so now I have one researcher with two Scopus ID. This is the main ID and this is the second ID. Okay, so the first step is go to Scopus and do a search by authors. Okay, so put the author last name and the author first name and don't forget to put Affiliation University Science Malaysia and click search. Okay, so from here, uh, we find only one author. Click on that to view the author's profile and check the author ID. So this particular author ID is the main ID that we found in the record just now okay so next step is we are going to find the second id okay so since we already have uh, the id so we are going to use advanced search so in scopus click on advanced and then click on author id okay and you may copy down this um, example and paste it here and please copy and paste the second id given by the uh, researcher okay and click search okay in the second id i found that there is four publications Okay, and we have to check every title to make sure that there is no duplication with the main ID. Okay, so now I go back to my uh, first ID or main ID. So there are five documents. Okay, so when I check um, every document, there is no duplication of publication uh, between these two ID. So we are going to merge these two ID. Okay, and next step is click on edit profile and make sure it is in the main ID. Okay, proceed to make changes. Okay, you have to choose the preferred name. And for this particular researcher, he already chose the first name to be used as a preferred name. So click on that and continue. You are making changes for Gun Peter. Is this your own profile? So since we do it on behalf of the researcher, please click no and continue. Okay, next step is you have to review or double check the publications. So this is the publications from the main ID. So if you notice there is uh, publications that uh, does not belong to this particular researcher we have to untick okay all right next we are going to add another four publications from the second id so click on search missing documents so we may search by a uh, title or by doi okay so now i'll do a search and go to um, second id and copy paste the first title okay okay so we have to uh, check the document title okay make sure it is correct and tick click confirm author okay next we have to tick the author's name and add document so now one document is added here so we have to do um, the same step to add another document okay okay 
Okay, so the third one, confirm author, click the author's name and add document. Alright, now two, so search missing to add another one. So the third one is this one. Same step, yeah. And the last one. Okay. So now there are four documents to be added in this um, main uh, ID or main profile. Right. So next is click on review affiliation. And we are going to choose University Science Malaysia. And the last one click on confirm and submit. Okay. So we may um, view again what we have done and click submit. Okay, and next you will uh, receive a notification uh, from uh, Scopus. Okay, so next to confirm, go to your email and this is the notification that you will receive from the Scopus. Okay, and it will take uh, up to seven days uh, for Scopus to do the merging. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you.